Tonight, we meet a Chicago middle school student who puts her sadness over youth violence into words. At just 13 years old, Summer Bell has won national recognition for her writing. She's one of Chicago's hidden gems. There could be some random person walking on the street and so you can get robbed, kidnapped, shot, and you just don't know why. Maybe that person's having a bad day and just feel like, oh well, and just take an innocent person's life. Hard to take in, but these are the words of a 13-year-old girl. Summer Bell, an eighth grader at Everhart Elementary School in Chicago Lawn, knows what she's talking and writing about. She's one of 100 finalists in the Do the Right Thing Challenge, an initiative of the National Campaign to Stop Violence. It gives students an opportunity to use their voice and their words in a way that I don't think we often give the opportunity. Students are asked to write about how violence in their neighborhoods affects their everyday lives, the fear, the anger, the grief. It could be a poem, it could be lyrics, it could be a song, it could be anything that you want. It could be an essay, it could be a letter. Robin Kelsch works with Communities in Schools. That's the local group that helps facilitate the challenge. She says students are asked to think about three things. What are the causes of youth violence? How has violence impacted you? And what do you think we should do about it? Youth violence is a very hard thing to stop. For her essay, Summer related the story of a beloved cousin who died by gun violence a decade ago. My older cousin Eva had run out on Christmas Day with her then boyfriend without permission. We called her to come, we called her to ask her to come home and no matter how much I begged, she kept repeating the same thing. Nothing's going to happen, Summer. I'll be okay. Later that evening, she was found dead in the snow with a gunshot wound to the head. Was it hard to write? Um, not really, because I had like a lot of inspiration for it. So I kind of knew what I was going to write about. Do you think it helped you to write about things that maybe you hadn't talked about much before? Yes, because it kind of made me feel safer and helped me get a few things off my chest. Stuff that I kind of keep inside and I don't really talk about often. It strikes a chord with all of us when we're able to truly listen to the people that are being directly influenced and impacted by the problems in our society. They have solutions. They are experts of their communities. It is our job to listen. What is something about violence that you wanted to get across with this essay that you think people might misunderstand? People may misunderstand the clear signs and warnings of violence and like people give you clear signs and warnings about when they're about to do something very dangerous or violent towards them. You need to pay attention to the people more. Stop being so desensitized to these type of stuff. It's like a serious problem. We mentioned this was a writing program. Part of being a finalist meant heading to Washington, D.C. in July, where students were honored at a recognition dinner, got to read from their work on stage, visit the U.S. Supreme Court building, and have their work bound in a leather book to be housed at the Library of Congress forever. It's a big deal. These students are not even in high school, and they are published authors having their works in the largest library in the world. While it's a thrill for Summer, her dad, Greg, says he's over the moon, not just at his daughter's success, but her compassion. She started writing one day, and when she laid it all out on the table for me, I was almost in tears. Proud is probably an understatement of the year. <laughs> Summer says she knows for some people, violence seems like the only way to solve a problem. For them, she has this message. You can ruin your life by turning to violence. You can ruin other people's lives and those people's families' lives and even the people around you that you may not know. Also honored in Washington, D.C., Jalen Trice of Woodson Elementary School. Jalen expressed his feelings about youth violence in a poem. You can see both of their works on our website, cbschicago.com. What an amazing way to show respect for middle schoolers showing mm -hmm. that even at that age they have a voice. And it was fascinating how cathartic it was even for Summer to write this. Uh, as she said, these are things she doesn't really talk out loud much about and this gave her the freedom to, to write about it. And as you can see now, she went to D.C. Yes. to celebrate. So it's a great program and it's great to see more people listening to these voices right. as well. The yeah. wisdom you mm. can tell from her.